All right, what's up, Hot Squad? This is your man, Taurus Hot, back in the tube, and welcome back to another weekly dose of Hot Banger Reactions. So last week, I was going to do Hot Banger Reactions, but I had to postpone it because I had so much stuff to do last week because it was the last of my semester. Everything was coming, you know, coming to an end and get my grades, try to get, get that on track, and my homework's back, get on track, which obviously, I passed semester, freaking great. So yes, Hot Squad, I'm back once again. With another week of those hot banger reactions. So it's gonna be a hell of a week of hot banger reactions this week because the ones I have not got a chance to catch up on last week and two weeks ago is gonna be all week this week. That's right, all freaking week I'll be dropping every single hot banger reaction I have missed out on so I can play catch up. So, Hot Squad, first things first, we're gonna start for Kendra Lamar versus Drake recap. Yes, another one. Zep, I got another one, man. So this one is called Kendra Lamar Perform at Drake's Grave. So of course, this is the Not Like Us um, concert, I believe it is. It definitely is a concert. I have never seen the concert yet, but I definitely know it is because I heard a lot of people say, you know, it's one of the best concerts ever did, etc., etc. So overall, I'm excited to see this. So Hot Squad, we're going to get this Hot Banger train rolling with Zeph Fire's recap of Kendrick Lamar. I'm definitely excited to see this. So Hot Squad, for ado, let's start and let's check it out. It's about to go down. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Here we go again. I haven't done a calm little short vid in a long time, but now we here. And some of y'all gonna be like, Zeph, this mad late. This happened a week ago. But guess what, bro? I know. I'm African. I gotta be faster than you. <laughs> and I know a lot of y'all seen that last video, cause damn. But like we mm. said in the last video, I thought that conflict was finished. It was over. He already sent Drake to sleep. Dude, like yeah. night, night. But he was like, nah, that's not, not enough. enough. <laughs> and he really brought Drake back to life yeah, just to drop him again. He will not let that Toronto nigga get <laughs> sleep. And before we get it. Oh, by the way, I did that recap, I think around around the end of May or June, around that time, and I freaking loved it. Into that Sukliomi that we for some reason call a concert. There's some things that happened between this video and the last video that I gotta address. First off, we gotta talk about the one and only, man. J. Cole, J. Cole, <laughs> J. Fold. Despite J. the Fold. fact that he's the first person in history to get hit with post-traumatic smoke disorder. <laughs> I actually messed with Brody Heavy. But last video, I gave him too much credit. I should have known a light-skinned nigga with Tarzan and Brian Grant couldn't have made a play this complex. Because I really thought after these two would knock each other Route, he was gonna pull up with the hardest tape of all time but just like i show speed he showed up on the other side of the oh, spectrum nah. and he gave us this <laughs> like i'm not gonna lie i gotta give him his props i did not know it was possible to out corny drake and that is a high bar to pass. Drake is the most meticulously concocted light skin ever made. That nigga said zesty height in anything white. I mean, talk about some, it's grippy, you're 40. Like, bro, grown ass man, this is embarrassing. Drake dropped some songs after as well. Oh, yeah. There were some basura funk garbage. <laughs> like, Drake was really in there mid song, hitting high notes like. <laughs> Drake's right hand man, the bisexual honey bun, got exposed for being a predator, and that was your oh, man. Oh. Was I saw a freaking article about freaking DJ Academics, man. Oh man, I saw that damn article, oh, man. It's your boy. Ain't nothing I can say, but that's tough. Yes. We about to get into the real business right now. But Kendrick really popped out and showed niggas. He saw Drake said he gets more love in this city, and he said. <laughs> <laughs> proceeded to have the craziest show known to man and i don't even blame him we should have never let this man from toronto g check a nigga from compton let's really talk about it like you really got shooters called ovio mark talking about some revenge like hmm. I'm, I'm scary shut up man but kendrick had everyone and they mama pop out for this show had drake's lines age it out like straight milk you know who really bang a set my nigga yg <laughs> yeah i don't know about that one they asked about you on stage and yg said hey Hey. And my dog was talking about some SZA got you wiped down Like bro who's gonna tell him she dare to And I don't know what y'all was talking about saying SZA was wearing a disguise Y'all cannot tell who she is without that bandana on I'm crying y'all niggas just Dr. Luther's <laughs> right. But the amount of people Kendrick brought on stage was actually insane mm. We had Tyler Steve mm -hmm. Lacey, Damn. Ty mm -hmm. Dolla Sign, Damn. Yeah. Roddy Rich, yeah. Black Damn. Hippie, mm. YG, mm -hmm. yeah. nigga Dr. Dre yeah. He brought out so many niggas, I swear he was about to say, Go, go, one more for y'all. Put your hands together for two. 
<laughs> LeBron was down there. I don't know what he was doing, but I know we got every single lyric wrong. But seeing all those artists <laughs> performing on stage would have had me sick. That's why I can't be a rapper. Getting impressed by a sauce condiment is crazy work. So Kendrick was playing damn near every good song he ever made. Even this one right here had me hitting knees. And when he played out like us, I swear tectonic plates shifted. That's really LA's new anthem. He know it too. Like he was really up there holding that minor line. Peace this. Trying to strike a chord and it's Don't hurt him, Unc! He was going crazy on stage, have me hit in these! But he was really dragging it out there. Like he really hit that wop, 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 wop. Like it was them anime critical hits. Like just imagine you watching an anime and a nigga said, wop, 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 wop. Yeah, <laughs> And this man played it not once, not twice, not even three times. Mm -hmm. And I know some of y'all watching this sweating right now. Y'all can't count up that high. Don't worry. Yeah. We only got two numbers left. He really played that whole five yes, times. Yes, five times, yeah. That man was already dead. Nobody said he lost the beef. He's really stepping on this nigga's ashes for the love of the game. And every time he played the song again, a new nigga would spawn on stage. <laughs> I swear I left the live stream to go get some food. I came back and saw a TMNT <laughs> member. I'm like, nigga, what? And a lot of y'all were commenting yeah, on Russell how Russell. happy Russell was. I was just happy that he came outside not looking like he was dressed by D. But Kevin <laughs> had Bloods and Crips on stage standing hand in hand. This man's really the hood avatar. We went from to Pippa Butterfly to to Beerch pedophile and it's proof that drake don't have the culture because what can he really do to combat this bring out smiley <laughs> yeah all right, bro i'm so good off that oh oh that's it okay yeah it was pretty short it was pretty short but this was great it's hilarious man but yeah um after seeing Kendrick Lamar's concert, that just that, that's just wild it's absolutely freaking wild man that was so wild <laughs> to pip a butterfly to to be word a psychopath. <laughs> I know what it says, but I'm just you know just being mess mess around. But yeah, uh, yeah, man, this was hilarious. This this was hilarious, man. W recaps that fire. Keep out the great work, these. Keep out the great work. So hot squad. I'm back once again. I'm finally back once again for hot banger reactions. I missed out on from the last two weeks. August is already coming already, which is crazy. And man, I have about two and a half weeks, two and a half weeks of hot banger reactions to get through before I head back this fall semester. So, boy, it's gonna it's gonna be a hell of a nonstop marathon I'm gonna do in Satari week. So I'm going to do the best I can to get as much down this week. So yes, hot squad, I will be continuing on and on and on the entire week, hopefully before the weekend, of course. So hot squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Zed Fire's Kendrick Lamar concert recap. So if you enjoyed this, please hit up button and kind of share your thoughts. Have you seen the concert multiple times? Have you been there? First of all, in LA and I know this was a hell of a experience. A hell of a experience this, this concert was. Absolutely freaking lutely, so I know it was. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have another Zephyr recap. And this is his Fist of Fear recap. So I'm not too familiar with the movie, but I know it's for Bruce Lee. That's all I know is really. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.